hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing area so this is the fifth part of jira series guys and today we are going to talk about what are the different jira uh, basic menus are there and what are the different options we have at jira level and at project level right so in the last video we talked about how to create the jira account how you can sign up with the email uh, gmail account and how we can set up our project while signing up right how we can set up our project now today i'll show you what are the different options we have basically i'll walk through the jira tool and uh, i'll show you uh, how we can create the project from scratch as well what are the different options we'll get and we'll basic uh, and we'll talk about what are the menus and options we have right so let's get started so if you talk about uh, at jira level we'll get uh, different options we have different menus like project we have filters dashboard we'll talk about them in detail and at project level these are the jira level right and uh, at project level we'll get like timeline and roadmap earlier we used to call this like roadmap right now it is showing as timeline when we create the scrum project so left side we'll get all the options different options another one is like backlog what is backlog we'll see that option as well and uh, board and active sprint earlier we used to call it as uh, like board right now it is showing as or we can uh, see it as uh, active sprint section right another one is reports we have goals issues code uh, release and project pages so these are the different options menu options or sections we have in jira uh, you can divide in two levels one is uh, divided into two parts like one is jira level uh, options these are the jira options and when we create the scrum project we'll get all these options right and uh, we can when we create the scrum project we can divide into two levels the one is planning planning section and another one is development right so project planning and another one is project development so testing comes under this one only testing will come under this development only so planning and development planning is nothing but when we get the project when we uh, start writing the brd business requirement document when we get the requirement from the client right so all those things comes under this planning and then we have development uh, when we actual development starts for the for the project so let's get started uh, practically we'll see uh, what are the options we have so this is jira account guys my jira account and uh, if you remember last time we have set up uh, uh, some domain so these different domain uh, i know but uh, you can customize your domain when we create the project uh, you can choose your subdomain so this is like x-ray jira tutorial dot dot net so you need to just go through this uh, site once you set up your account which we discussed in the last video and then you will be able to uh, you know uh, just log in with your gmail id and then you will be able to land on this page correct so right now what are the options we have if you see the top so if you select this one left side or top so we have different uh, uh, products under jira so jira software we have jira service management jira work management which we discussed earlier videos right what are the different products we have and there is a confluence uh, product as well so confluence is nothing but uh, for the documentation purpose this so this is the separate uh, product we'll discuss about the, uh, that as well like confluence what is confluence and how we are going to set up a different how we are going to create different pages and how how i mean how uh, actually it helps to you know uh, in the scrum project so we'll discuss about that as well how we can create our requirement documentation and all so i'll create separate videos uh, as part of confluence as well right so these are the different options we have and this admin option and uh, some other options here as well so this is about this option and we here we have uh, so we all working on this jira software only correct so this is the the screen which you can see right now is under jira option jira software only right and uh, whatever work work are assigned uh, works are assigned to you will be shown over here like uh, in progress what are the work what are the issues are there inside this right now there is one more project so uh, i have assigned uh, myself few issues so that's why it is uh, you can see different uh, issues over here and uh, recent work will be shown here and there is a board and queue option right 
and there is a filter option as well so here in this filter option we have uh, we can create our own filter over here for the project filter uh, based on the like different issues how we can filter it out we can create from this filters option and there is a dashboard to track uh, status of your project you can track uh, the, you can track using this dashboard uh, page uh, option right you can create your own dashboard as well so when we create the project we'll talk about that a dashboard as well i'll create the dashboard as well sample dashboard for the development you can create sample dashboard for testing also you can create sample dashboard and teams here you can invite uh, different other uh, team members who are or not in jira right now so you can invite them to uh, join jira or you can create your own team as well which already they have already access to jira and you can just uh, you can invite them currently you can see uh, i have only uh, one people in this team you can invite different people as well and uh, different plans you can see we'll see this later on and assets and apps this is important one so here you can explore these are the recommended options we have so different plugins or different softwares we can install it from here we can integrate with jira and we can explore different other apps as well from here you can manage your apps and you can see the app request as well what is the status of your request right and so these create options we can create different issues which we discussed i think in the last time so these are the different uh, zero options guys you will see and uh, let's talk about the project level uh, options so let me just create a project so and then i'll show you how we can see different options under project scrum project so these are the recent projects which i have created and uh, from this option you can create the new project create project and left side you will see different uh, what are the different project templates like uh, you are going to create for software development or service management product management right work management so different options we have for designing right so better uh, let's select this software development because we are going to talk about the software development right so and here you will see different uh, frameworks and inside uh, the software development so kanban scrum so for now for our uh, training purpose we'll select this scrum only so most of the when we do software development so most of the times we'll select this scrum i have already talked about like what is the difference between kanban and scrum so let me just select this scrum for now and this is the template which we are going to use for this scrum like uh, what are the different issues issue types we have correct and uh, workflow to do in progress done and let me just select this template use this template now it will ask uh, choose the project type so the first step is done project template which we have selected as a scrum project and we have selected the particular template as well and choose a project type so which kind of project you are going to uh, select team managed or company managed so this is set up and maintained by your team and this is set up and maintained by your jira admin so basically i'm going to talk about i'm going to select this one select a company managed project for now because we'll see more options and uh, more control in this company managed so let me just select for this uh, this for now and uh, here i have to give the name of the project so i'm going to take i'm going to create the project on orange hrm which for the training purpose i'll show you uh, how we can create a simple manual project using orange hrm so i'm going to select the project name like orange hrm correct uh, it is already ex exist so orange let's select orange hr only or orange hrm new right and this will key will be here uh, it will generate one key so that is just to identify for the identification for your uh, project so key is nothing but like uh, uh, it will show you some prefix uh, like short form of your project right and uh, let me just click on next and it will ask connect your work active some uh, jira's best feature for connecting your team's code so confluence page you can connect to this confluence page so and just simply click on so our project has been created guys and uh, this is the project right key of the project and here you can see uh, what are the different options inside the project like timeline backlog active sprint and all 
So let's talk about them uh, in detail. So if we go to timeline, so earlier we used to call it as the roadmap. Right now it's timeline. Timeline shows uh, the progress of your project. And here we'll create the uh, the epic, right? Like uh, epic is nothing but the large body of work which we discussed earlier, right? In earlier videos. So epic will be created from here. Like let's say we are creating, we are developing a website and we'll divide that uh, the task into different uh, components or different modules right and we can consider one module module as uh, epic and let's say login screen will be there uh, so we can create like login development of login screen so we can create an epic for that and later on we'll subdivide them into user stories and then task and subtask and all so this is the timeline and there is a backlog so backlog what happens here is we'll create uh, different user stories or bugs right so uh, in backlog we'll create all those user stories like uh, user stories and task and all those stuff so that will come over here so when we start the sprint then we'll we can create different uh, uh, user stories we can create user stories directly here let's say let me create like test and uh, enter it so we can create directly from here and we can start our sprint from here after putting the dates and all right uh, so we'll create that uh, definitely in going forward when uh, in upcoming videos when we set up a set up this orange hrm project right so this is a uh, backlog so all the backlogs will be listed over here uh, from there from that backlog we'll keep in the active sprint uh, whatever sprint one is there so we'll keep those issues those uh, user stories in that particular sprint active sprint if you talk about active sprint so this shows the progress of our project like to do in progress done so these are the different status of our project uh, here we have different sections like to do what is in the to do in progress or done and then we have reports what are the different different reports are available as part of this project so all will be listed over here we'll talk about them what are the different pro uh, reports are there as part of agile projects right burn down chart what is burn down chart burn up chart sprint report these are the rep different reports we can see in the progress of our uh, project using these reports and we have goals uh, i'll talk about goals later on and then we have issues which is important uh, right so all the issues whatever we create uh, whatever we are going to create like test i have created right when we were in uh, a sprint so in the backlog right so i have created this test so it is showing over here whatever the issues are we are going to create will be listed here all the issues and uh, you can see all other uh, like other options in as part of these issues like all issues will be listed here open issues reported by me right done issues and everything and uh, components anyway components will talk about that components later on and uh, as part of development earlier we talked about there are two sections right when we when we create the scrum project so one is planning and another one is development so code will be there so let's say we are we are developing a software and uh, we need to write the code right and where we uh, manage those code in configuration system right bitbucket github or gitlab so we can integrate our uh, configuration tool using this uh, code option from code uh, section right we can integrate easily like it will show like uh, this one like one branch is created and nine commits one pull request like that so usually you can connect to uh, the other providers as well this is bitbucket and you can connect with github and uh, uh, gitlab and all right so this is this is how you can manage your uh, codes uh, code and uh, you can integrate with jira tool and this is the release release cycle you can create the different versions of your release and you can uh, see the progress of your releases over here project pages so this is nothing but the confluence uh, page right uh, so we can connect to confluence and we can create different different formats we have different uh, like uh, documentation templates so from there we can create different uh, templates like business requirement document, uh, functional requirement documents, or any other documents as well. And we can connect using that, uh, like that Confluence pages to this Jira tool. You can simply create a shortcut as well by providing the link, add a link to frequently used resource like a web page. 
we can directly create the shortcuts from here to our project and then we have project settings so if you go to project settings so details about the project will be displayed over here like name of the project and what is the key what is the url of the project all those stuff right and you can put the description over here summary of the project will be there what are the issue types uh, are integrated with this project right and permission roles workflows everything will be listed down here we'll talk about what are the different workflows we have how we can create the workflows as well and what are the different screens we have like main screen and main screen and the default screen right so we'll discuss about that you can uh, you can add different people uh, as well using this people option we have permission as well yeah so you can add different people over here and you can give them the uh, particular permission from here and uh, we have permissions what are the roles are there those are defined here uh, defined over here like project permissions and uh, notification correct so when we create issue has been created when we create the issue uh, it will go to all watchers current assignee and reporter the notification will go to when we create the create the issue then it it will go the like notification will go to all the watchers we can add the watchers as well i'll show you also when we start creating a project i mean when we set up the project when we work start working on this project then i'll show you as well how we are going to create the watcher uh, how we can add the watchers and it will go to current assignee and reporter reporter is nothing but who created the issue and uh, current assignee is to whom we are going to assign the issue and uh, it will go like uh, one uh, when an issue is edited right when you are assigned to an issue so all these things when you uh, set up like default notification scheme uh, these are the all default notification scheme so when you uh, create an issue or edit an issue then it will notification like notification will go automatically and there is a notification as well uh, sorry automation like you can create different rules here as well okay so these are the different rules like when an issue is transition uh, from one state to another state one let's say from to do to in progress so automatically it will assign to other person whoever is so let's say I'm going to assign it to uh, uh, QA person for testing, right? And there is a uh, testing uh, will be there in the workflow. So automatically the QA person, whoever we are going to assign will be automatically assigned when we change the status from to do or in progress to QA, correct? And some other features as well, guys, other uh, options like features, tool chain, workflows. So this is important, this workflow right so we can create the workflow as well we can add the workflow customize workflow the default work default workflow we have already so i'll create the uh, customized workflow as well which we are going to discuss as well in coming days and there is a development tools at last if you see so we can connect to uh, other tools like uh, bitbucket server or bitbucket cloud from here so these are the different options under project and uh, going forward when we start working on this orange hrm project then we'll explore different functionalities all these functionalities so this video mainly uh, like uh, i spoken about what are the different options menus are there at jira level and at project level so this is all for today guys let me know if you have any further questions so thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye